Kagula Food Kitchen finding a new home today, four months after the city took over its property. Noah Noble explains how Jackson County is helping provide a meal to those in need without spending taxpayer dollars. But it's a great day for our community because our daily bread has been in this community for 42 years and, and I've often said that we will be here until Jesus returns because we are a Christian organization uh, feeding the least of these in our community. Standing before the Jackson County Board of Supervisors, our Daily Bread's Board Director, T. McCovey, petitioned for the soup kitchen to temporarily use the pavilion at the fairgrounds. The request passed unanimously. That was you know, probably the easiest vote we've had in a while and uh, uh, because it didn't cost us any money. So uh -huh. there you go. You know, it didn't cost taxpayers any money. It's a great community service as far as I'm concerned. And, and look, you know, we could all be homeless. You know, I, 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 any, any of us could be. And I know a meal for these folks is, is you know, is very welcoming to them. This demolished piece of property behind me was where our daily bread served those in need in Pascagoula until the city took over their property through eminent domain. You didn't have to worry about being hungry. They always had a meal for you. Bill Smith is homeless and relied on our daily bread for a steady meal until its doors closed in December. What have you been doing since our daily bread is closed? I've been just making it. Thanks to good Lord, I'm still here. Were you surprised to see the city take over this property? Both. They're supposed to help you. They want help on us. <laughs> but McCovey says homeless only make up a fraction of those who rely on our daily bread. There's a misconception with community feeding centers that we typically just feed the homeless and, and, and the downtrodden, but that's not the case. You know, the majority of people we feed, our, our biggest um, folks that we feed, again, are the um, elderly and, and families. During feedings, you, you see people from every walk of life mm -hmm. just people from everywhere and people you didn't think you'd see there at a mm -hmm. feeding spot like that and here they drive up and eat with us and it's it's a blessing. Months after losing its building, Our Daily Bread hopes to have its feedings up and running at the fairgrounds by the end of April. In Pascagoula, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.